Hi, I'm Sherry Black, and today I'm going to make my pot roast, and I make it differently than most people, but I like it. But what you're going to do is you're going to brown your meat on both sides, but you need to salt and pepper first, both sides, and brown it, and brown it on all, all the edges if you can before you stick it in your crock pot. So I have my meat done right here. As you can see, it's over here, and I'm going to put this in the crock pot and then what I'm going to do is you're you're gonna laugh but what I use is coca-cola and I'm gonna go ahead and put this coke over my meat and just pour it in there and this is what I'm gonna cook my meat in this coke I know it sounds crazy but I don't know I like it so anyway, what you're going to do is I also am going to put an onion in here to start out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut an onion. And I just, I just kind of cut it like this. And what I would do is just go ahead and cut it in half. And of course, I got to get the papers off. Get the the outer shell off. Let's get that off. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a few on onions in here. So I just kind of cut them chunky like this because I like big chunks and it's going to it's going to kind of cook down. And I'll just go ahead and cut this in half like this and kind of do big old cubes like this and put it in your pot on top of your meat. And I and also I'm gonna go ahead and throw in another onion. I'm gonna do a big onion and a, a smaller onion. And these are, one is a white onion and the other is like a bell about I forget what they're called, but they're more of a sweet onion. V Vidalion. I, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this onion in here. And I'm going to do it the same. And just chop it up and throw a few because the onions really gives it a lot of flavor. And so it's going to be really good. And I go ahead and throw these in and put, and then I've got some beef broth. I like the beef broth and I usually get the low sodium. But of course, um, you know, you're going to add salt and pepper anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and pour some of that over in there also. And what I'm going to do is let this cook for a few hours, and then what I'm going to do is um, check it when it, we're going to let it cook for like, it may be six to eight hours on. I'm going to put it on high first and let it get cooking, and then um, you could let it cook for six hours, and if you do low, you're going to let it cook for a lot longer, eight hours maybe. Uh, just kind of watch it, because... You know, once your your onions are going to start breaking down in there, and uh, then you're going to add your carrots, and we'll salt and pepper some more. So, anyway, so I will, and then also we're going to, we're going to have to cut up potatoes too. So I'm going to throw in carrots and potatoes, but I'm going to give this, uh, you know, a few hours. I don't put the potato. I'll probably put the potatoes in um, after three hours throw them in and the carrots and the carrots they actually take longer to cook so um, I would do them within two or three hours and then put the potatoes just throw them all in at once so anyway I will see you back uh, in a few hours hi I'm here browning the meat and I have sauteed on this side and the other side and peppered both sides and now I'm going to brown on both sides and even kind of turn it a little bit if you want to brown it on the sides kind of get it I don't know if you can sometimes I'll do that I'll just kind of let it get brown on all the other ends and then we're going to stick it in a crock pot so I have cut this many potatoes and I've chopped them up pretty big because I like them big to go in my pot. And I've already added my carrots. 
So the carrots was put in three hours after I started the crock pot. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes. And it's been about four hours. Okay, so here is my pot. And I'm going to add in some salt. And then I'm going to add some pepper. Add some more pepper in there. Add it to the potatoes. And this has only been cooking about four hours. So on high, well, three hours on high. And now I've cut it down low because I'm going to cook it on low to see if we can get the, uh, have it for tomorrow. The stew is finally done and it looks very good and I have tasted it. And as you can see, the potatoes are cooked all the way through. They got a little bit soft. And the meat, it, it, it tastes really good. We like our stew soupy. Uh, you could add flour if you wanted to to thicken up the soupy part. But it is, it tastes delicious. Hi, I'm back. And I just wanted to say thank you all for watching me while I made my stew, my homemade stew. And um, I hope y'all will try the recipe. I know it sounds a little crazy, but we love it. And I also have a friend that is here that I would like for him to try. And this is what my stew, it's hard to see, but I want him to try my stew. So Gabe, come on over here and try it. All right, thank you. What do you think? Mmm, that's delicious. You like it? Yes, Seriously? Oh, okay. You bet. You're not kidding me. No, no. <laughs> so anyway, thank you. So guys, thank y'all for watching and uh, tune in to me next time because I don't know what I'm going to fix next. But anyway, I hope y'all will join and I'll make up something good. Thanks and have a great day. God bless.